Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I'm back with the illustrious Dan Rusanova, who is the owner and brain, I don't know if you're the brain behind it, but you're definitely the owner, of EventGrid. Yeah. And we saw a wonderful demo last time, and this has now been in the market for like two, three weeks, right? yep. and people seem to love it. So let's talk a little bit about maybe another another usage case. So what did you show last time, just to recap folks? Yeah, last time we went over using custom topics. Yes, that's and, right. And uh, Lodge Gaps integration. Right. I so the custom topics people could, uh, any sort of random site, solution, application, whatever, could insert an event and Lodge Gaps would listen and react. Yeah. That's what we showed last time. Beautiful. Yep. Now, today. Yes, so today we're going to show storage integration. Okay. And Event Hubs integration. Great. Yeah. Okay. So starting off for storage That's integration cool. from within the portal. Okay. Uh, just, this is just a storage account I'm in right now. You can actually see there's an event grid icon here on the left. Yes. Uh, underneath settings. And if I click. Oh, look at this. It's right here in the, US, in the user experience for storage. For storage, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And when I click on the event grid uh, icon, I can all, go see all of the oh. subscribers here. I can so see these are ones are. that are, these are ones that you created already. So this is basically these exist with your event grid subscription. Yes. So oh. these, these exist today on this storage account. Oh and I actually have here a function, which is one of these that's listening. Uh, it's a very simple function. It doesn't do much. It just logs out the event that it receives. This is actually an event grid event inside of Azure Functions. Oh, look at this. Yep. So we have integration on this side as well. And if I come here into my storage account okay. and go upload a file, uh, you can see how quickly this will actually go put that file into or, or trigger that function with that file. Okay. Let's see here. So I click upload, upload. find a file. Just grab some file from in here. Temp. Yeah, always the most useful one. That's right? the best name in the world. And by the time I come back in here, you can see the event just there fired. In the fired. Slide, and it's a blob create event. Boom. And I'm subscribing to create and delete. So if I come here again and click on this file and delete it, uh, it'll actually fire a separate event, a delete event, uh, as quickly before I can even blob. We go back, it says blob delete. There you go. So that one happened. And to show this isn't just wait. So go. Sorry. Go. Go back and show you. You were gonna. You had something else planned. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. To show I, that I this just, isn't I really just. I screwed up the flow. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't the the magic of television here. Okay. Uh, I can actually go add a function from scratch. Show live. Yep. And pick what I'm gonna show. And uh, actually, I haven't checked this this week to see if it came in here yet. But it's under experimental right now. It'll be out of experimental probably by the time this video comes out. And there's an event grid trigger. Look at this. And I just click on event grid trigger. I can name it whatever I want it to. Um, I'm just going to click. C sharp one. Sounds yeah, that's good. a very creative name. It's clever. Uh, I'll we'll just always remember the C sharp one days. <laughs> <laughs> just click create here. Rick's not amused. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can see it created it. It's the same type of function it had before. And the, the last there's piece. There's event grid I see. Yep. Yeah, the okay, last great. piece I have to do here is go to integrate and uh, click to create. This is actually going to create the subscription here. Oh, this creates the event grid subscription? Yes. It's and then you take this and you grid. put it back into the storage account? Uh, no, no, I, that's, I don't have to do anything else. This will actually go wire it all up together. Whoa, Dan's, okay, okay, okay. Let's call Dan's latest event sub. Um, and I can already see here that I get a type, so I'm going to pick what type it is. It's a storage account. Oh, there you go, look at this. And then I can browse for my storage accounts. Um, and in resource groups, I actually have a resource group So this is creating here. it through of the event grid experience through functions. Through functions, pointing at what? my existing storage account. Yep. And uh, I can go see there's a storage account here, browse, and I can select which events do I want to listen on. This is awesome. Yep. And then uh, all I have to do from here is hit create. I'm not going to put and any filters just in. And pop in that other in the storage. And okay. it'll actually just work so now. This now was what? You created this. The event grid description is my image processor Azure websites.net. Now, yeah, that's all done will behind it now, the scenes. Can we go back and see the storage yeah, side and see it pop absolutely. up there? Yep. And so back in Was this that part of what you were going to do? Or am yeah, I like sure, forcing you, forcing you down a weird... And you can see I actually call it Dan's latest... Dan's latest. Uh, ...sub. And, and that's so the one you, So it just got added. Got it. Yes. And now if I actually go add this file, let's see to make sure we're actually on this. Now, if you had one that you manually created mm -hmm. as a listener, you could just add it directly through there, right? Yes. So yes. If, you were, if you were having a listener that wasn't, let's say, functions, but was some 
application code, what what have you, yeah. that was listening to sort of the web hook, mm -hmm. right? Um, you could then, you'd go into the stored side and hit new there, and that would be how you'd wire it up in that situation. Absolutely. In this situation, because you're going through functions, it's basically all wiring it up for you. Yeah. Oh, rock and roll. And now if I go create another file, like I did before, I'm just going to upload, actually I'll probably upload the same file or one just like it, uh, and what we'll see is that the same exact thing's going to happen, like it's going to trigger my new function, so you can see that I really just built this from scratch, and it works uh, that quickly, that easily, and all integrated. So I come here, and wait, and it went, what? and there's it. That's awesome. So from zero to actually zero to running in, in 30 in seconds. Literally. Maybe a minute. Okay, a minute. Maybe a minute. Okay. I was talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, okay, so we just saw live creation. You went through the functions experience. Yeah. You were able to, as part of that, create a brand new uh, code sort of RE generate. One of the cool parts of functions is sort of the net new experience that just sort of regenerates everything for you. Yep. You then went to integrate. As part of Integrate, you created a new event grid subscription yep. um, that then wired it to functions to listen. And through that experience, you basically said, I want to listen to storage. You could also have it listen to Azure Resource Manager APIs. Mm -hmm. So like every time a VM creates, you run a function. Yep. In that case, it was every time a blob got created or deleted, it runs this function. And then it just, behind the scenes, wires everything up, and then those events just start firing. Yeah, it's all magic. My goodness. All and through the portal experience. All through the portal. And to show all this integration here, real quick, I'm going to look at an event hub. An event hub is actually onboarded for capture. It's also there too. And so I can see my subscriptions here. Now, what here. sort of scenario would you do this? Like, why would you have event hub talk to an event grid? So these are event hubs basically gathering these events, yes, from some other, so like a, uh, an IoT device or something of this yeah, nature? Yeah, event hub is like a stream or log. Of yeah, data. Okay. And uh, one of the features in Event Hub that's really useful is the capture feature, which which we did a show about yes, a couple months ago. Yes, we did ago. do a show. That was an awesome show. Yeah, yeah. and uh, that lets you get your five, your data instead of individual events that you're reading. Yes. You can actually have it pushed to a storage account that you give this, the service. Right. So your own ADLS or right, blob right, storage right. account. And then you can run whatever sort of uh, you know yes. uh, but you, analytics on it or what have you. Absolutely, because most analytics pipelines are batch. Yeah, of course. So you probably want to know when those files are created. So Grid actually publishes an event that says which file was created, where it is, how many events are in it, like how many messages that's are in awesome. it, and how many kilobytes it is. And that's all tied in now with Event Grid. Yes. Event yeah. Hub, excuse me. Event Hub event and hub Event Grid. And Event Grid yeah. tied together to make mm -hmm. um, a smorgasbord of event control. And the perfect example is if you want to do ETL into your data warehouse. And we actually have this up on our documentation oh, already. Interesting. And you can use a function to load the data warehouse with these capture files. Oh, interesting. So basically, content comes in through Event Hub, you're doing the archive capability, mm -hmm. uh, and as part of that, you're also firing an event grid so that functions will take what you've then archived as part of storage, yep. and then we'll run it through basically some sort of analytics pro processing, yep. ETL processing. Wow. Yeah. I'm almost as impressed by how cool that is that I was also able to understand it. <laughs> Are you impressed by that too? <laughs> Uh, that is really, really cool. Uh, and so, wow, so both of these are, are live today. People can do this all, and you didn't leave the portal experience. It's all right through the portal. Yep. My goodness. So, gosh, the, the capabilities for EventGrid are endless. I feel like we need to have more shows on EventGrid. Sure. And now you need to go think through some other demos. But for now, <laughs> Dan, this was awesome. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you guys for watching. You got questions about EventGrid, other ideas? I, obviously, these guys are working fast. Great, great um, progress, even in the last two weeks. Go ahead and hit us up on Twitter at hashtag AzureTWC. Uh, and uh, we'll make sure to pull pull your uh, pull your uh, handle into the tweet as well. And so hit us with some questions if you've got them. Otherwise, go play with some event grid and uh, have some fun. It's uh, surely serverless, the next generation of serverless. So, thanks a lot. Anything else? That's all. That's it. Yep. Beautiful tie, man. Thanks. Well done, burgundy. And and it actually matches. It the matches shirt. the shirt yeah. because of the, the it's really it's classy. Yeah. And then I got the garbage college stuff going on here. Have a wonderful Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you so much, <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Mmm, diet. <laughs> Tastes like the original it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're so serious. <laughs> okay. Am I making you uncomfortable? No. With that thing. With <laughs> 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 All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go.
long time at event grid? Yeah. What, what? Not logic apps. No, I understand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How embarrassing. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. I have no idea what we're talking about, so you'll have to lead me. Yeah, All no right. problem. <sighs> okay. You ready for, oh. Are you run recording on this too? This campaign? Okay.